Hey guys, EBP Man here, and today we're taking a look at Amplify's wireless routing system. It's a mesh home wireless platform for all your wireless needs. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now there is an emerging trend, uh, I'd probably say not emerging anymore, but uh, an actual trend where many of the Wi-Fi router providers are trying to cover your home completely when it comes to Wi-Fi. Uh, many of us, depending on the size of the home, and it doesn't really have to be big, uh, but it could be also because of the construction of the home, are finding that Wi-Fi routers as they exist today are not covering the entire home. So what you've seen is this mesh type technology routers. Uh, we've reviewed on the channel uh, three so far. We've reviewed um, Google solution. We've looked at Netgear solution. We've also looked at TP-Link. And today we're gonna be looking at Amplify solution. All of the solutions, including this one, are really targeting on making seamless access to all your electronic devices throughout your house. Now, one of the things that's really key about these solutions is also not just about having access but also keeping up performance and speed so let's check out amplify solution and see how they address the issue with coverage and speed now for those of you who may be new to mesh technology just wanted to use the illustration here that you have on the box just to give you a sense of what's going on here so uh, with mesh technology it's all about having a router in a specific location close to your uh, access uh, for the internet. So if you have Comcast or AT&T, wherever that router is, this is going to be right next to it and it's going to be plugged into it. But then you have these two devices and these devices are located throughout your home and are going to communicate with this specific uh, router and maintain connectivity. So depending on where you are in your home and in what level, like in this illustration, when you connect to the internet, you'll be connecting to one of these points. This point will be connecting to the center point and the same thing would happen if you're somewhere over here you connect to this one so what you're doing is uh, with this technology is bringing the connection points to the internet uh, the access points closer to where you are in your home theoretically what happens is you get uh, broader coverage and also what happens is you don't lose speed as you connect to these so one of the problems that you have with exiting Wi-Fi um, extenders the existing ones is that there's a degradation in speed so you drop significant speed between one point and the other that doesn't happen with this type of technology now there are several uh, models um, from Amplify. Uh, there's the uh, first version right here, which is model AFI, then there's AFI LR, and then there's AFI HD. We actually have the HD version here. Uh, the coverage is pretty sweet. So you have 10,000 square feet, 20,000 square feet um, coverage, and then what you have is a guaranteed or um, an aggregated speed of up to 5.25 gigabits. Uh, that's faster than I would say most people have in their homes unless you have uh, uh, gigabit connection but still that's uh, going to be far exceeding any of your needs now in the box as we'll see this in a second is you're going to have all these components in here uh, these are your access points so they're not like the Google ones or TP link uh, which are small and discreet that they look like little hockey pucks they're actually larger and you're going to see that in a second now inside the box uh, you have a user guide just walking through the process and an Ethernet cable you need this to connect it to your um, router that goes to your home internet connection so that's pretty much it you have your two Wi-Fi extenders these two items here you have your router Ethernet and power cord and user guide so now that we've done the unboxing the next step is to um, install the Amplify app now this does require a application in order to install it and to get it functional. Um, if you're used to um, another type of Wi-Fi router, you may have plugged it in and used a PC to browse to the application and then um, like an internal website and then modify all your changes. So all you have to do is either on your iOS device, Apple phone, or your Android device, look for this app that's called Amplify Wi-Fi and then you'll open it up. Now the app is uh, pretty straightforward, so it gives you a real nice illustration um, as to what you need to do and how you'll connect things. Um, it will ask you the question, are you setting it up or um, adding a Amplify standalone mesh point? This is the mesh point. Um, in this case, uh, that we're not working with the mesh point. We're going to be setting up the entire solution. So you choose this. It's going to prompt you to power off, um, connect an Ethernet cable directly from the router, to the back um, and it's going to be that blue uh, box right here or, or blue connector so if we look at our router right here you're going to be connecting it right here and each one of these by the way are gigabit co connectors so we'll go into the next one uh, we'll connect the power cable which is the one that goes right here 
and then once we've done that we'll power it on. Uh, so those are going to be the steps. So let's go ahead and plug it in, uh, power it up, and we'll continue with the application setup. Now once you power up the uh, Amplify, um, this is what you're going to see. So it has a very uh, visual screen, uh, easy to read, very clear uh, graphics, which I'm surprised for something that is this small, and it's primarily just a router. It's going to go through its setup process, so it's uh, communicating with my router, I have it connected, it's just going to go ahead and set itself up. So we're just going to leave that right here. I'll see if I can leave it in an angle so you can see what's going on there. Maybe not, but we'll keep it right here. That's going to be still in view. And the next thing we're going to do is go back to our app. Now the app is going to start looking for the Wi-Fi access point. And you can see how it's going through. It hasn't found it. I'm going to go ahead and do it again. Now just take a couple seconds for the Amplify router to show up. But what I notice is that we have to wait for this box to update to come to the screen uh, before the Amplify will show up on your phone. So as soon as I notice this thing update, um, the Amplify router showed up on my setup screen. Now on the router itself, you get uh, this little sh uh, thing showing up. And one of the things I thought was really cool that I didn't notice is look how nice this thing glows. It just lights up really nice. So um, even though it's it's not as small as we've seen as some of the other uh, Wi-Fi routers, I do think that the aesthetics, the design, looks pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is tap here just to see uh, what I can do. And one of the things it looks like you can do is you can connect uh, to this Wi-Fi network for setup and go through a non-app process it looks. But we're going to go ahead and continue with the app process since I think that that's the easiest one. So I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, the router and it's going to go through its configuration process. Now throughout the process you're getting feedback. So as soon as my app on the phone found the router, um, I got an update here just telling me that it was configuring. So um, I like uh, the consistency and the communication going back and forth. So at this point I can name the router, I can create my wireless password, and um, reuse the same password for administration if that's something I'd like to do. Now throughout the, throughout the setup process you're going to be hearing some chirps and some music uh, and then when it's completely set up you're going to see that uh, come up here. Now on the phone as well you're going to see some feedback letting you know when the setup is complete. Uh, now that we have everything set up, uh, we're at the app, and everything looks pretty straightforward. You see in the middle the actual router, and then you see the two uh, mesh points. Uh, it's indicating that there are some updates available, so I'm going to go ahead and tap to update. And then once we've gone through all the update process, I'm going to go ahead and you know come back to the video, and we'll go through the additional setup process, we'll test, we'll do a review, and see how it performs. All right, so everything is set up. Uh, I've been doing some testing, and I'm going to share the results in a couple seconds. And we're also going to go through and look at um, all of the, I would say, um, settings so that you can see what's going on. I've connected an access point, and you'll notice that it's already connected right there. Uh, that's done. And I'm going to connect the next one. And it doesn't seem like there's much of a setup that you have to do. As soon as you connect it, it kind of recognizes it, and it looks like it's going. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in the second um, mesh point to see how that works. All right, so the next thing we're going to look at is, before we go into the app, is all the controls and the things that you can do uh, with the touch screen. So what I'm going to first do is I'm going to tap it once, and what you can see here is, um, you know, performance, download versus upload. You can see what your IP is, how many devices are connected. You can see uh, speed. You can see port status. And then you come back to the main screen. Now let's take a look at some of the things that are going here on the app. Um, you have your two mesh points, and you'll notice that I can tap on these mesh points. And when I tap on them, it's going to give me information about the mesh point. It's going to give me the mesh point name. It's going to give me the overall uh, signal strength and the quality, uh, the mesh point uh, band, right? And then uh, information about either LEDs, system sounds. And if I scroll up, you'll notice um, I can pause a specific mesh point, I can uh, locate the mesh point, I can reboot the mesh point if I go into about. It's going to show me, um, again, information about the software version, revision, all this information about it with MAC address, um, everything that you would need to know. Now keep in mind that this router is going to combine your Wi-Fi for 2.4 and 5 gigahertz onto one specific um, SSID. So uh, older routers you'd have 
an SSID for your 2.4 and an SSID for the 5, but we've been noticing more and more of the routers as they're being updated and the newer ones have one combined. Now you do have the ability to separate that if you'd like. So we're going to go ahead and get out of this and go out one more time. And what you can also do is tap the actual um, router itself and the router itself is going to give you information. So let's go ahead and go into general. And in general, you're going to see the device name, uh, which is going to be your SSID, your time zone, uh, the clock, volume. Uh, you can locate it, change your password, you can reboot it or do a factory reset. We'll go back, go into wireless. Wireless setting, you're going to see your network name, your uh, wireless password. Uh, you can show the password. You can determine what kind of security you have. You can enable hidden SSID. Uh, here you can also establish your guest mode. Um, and your guest security, the country that you're in. Um, you have also band steering so and also router steering um, as well as a separate Wi-Fi SSID as we've mentioned. Now if we go into advanced, you can even go in further things here. Uh, you can determine your bands and also uh, for each one. So you can do the channels and, and frequency um, for these, for each one of these. So we're going to go out. I'm going to go out one more time. Next thing we're going to do is look at internet. Under Internet, you can see your DHCP, your IP address, um, secondary DNS, um, clone a MAC address, virtual LAN. You can go into bridge mode. And this is important because uh, most of the mesh routers that I've seen um, uh, that uh, support this type of technology don't function or lo lose the mesh capability when you go into bridge mode. So for those of you who may be asking, well, what is bridge mode? If you have an existing router, and you want to just expand your network and not use this router as the router that is the only one in your house besides your um, internet provider, you may want to go into bridge mode to extend it even further because you have a larger home. In my case, I'm looking to use this as a bridged router. Uh, so what it will do is it will allow the DHCP, the IP address, uh, is going to be coming from my main router. And then this one will just allow to extend the reach of my existing router even further. Uh, the reason why you may want to do that is so that you have all your devices on the same IP range. And also, um, what that pr primarily means for you know just basic use is um, you'll be able to connect to all your devices on the same network. So, for example, if I don't use it and it's in, in bridge mode in my case, and someone's connected to this mesh point, um, and my printer is connected to on my other router, I may not be able to print. So I may want to have it in bridge mode so that any device connected anywhere in my house is going to be able to use services like my, uh, my NAS um, as well as my uh, printers or any other devices. So this is something pretty neat that I found interesting about this product that it does support um, you know, bridge mode um, in this area. Now you do have some features around depending on where you have your uh, router, you know, night mode so that the light turns off. You have DHCP server settings, and this is also that's very unique because um, the Netgear Orbi, I believe, doesn't do this. I'll have to double check that, but I'll, you know, I'll add that in the comment. But I don't think it does it. The also the um, Google uh, doesn't do this either. Google Home nor does a TP-Link product. And what I'm looking at here, and what I want to highlight is that you can actually. Uh, modify the IP range. This goes back to my comment before. So if I wanted to change the IP range so that it matches the IP range of my network, my primary network, um, those are the devices you can't. They have their own. So here what you could do is you can actually modify this IP. So let's say for example it was 192.168.1.100 then my range would uh, change. And this is going to allow my networks, my two routers, to communicate, the devices, no matter where they are, to communicate with all the devices that are um, included. I know it sounds a little confusing, but those of you who know routers uh, get what I'm talking about. The ability to configure this and not lose your mesh capability is a big deal. Now you also have port forwarding rules, uh, which is neat. So you do have the port forwarding that you have there. Um, pretty standard for what you see. And typically gamers are doing this, um, you know, use the port forwarding capabilities. If you're a um, average consumer, you're probably not going to use those features. Now while the router does have some really neat capabilities and has a lot of flexibility, the one thing I did not see, and um, if you have this router, comment on it. I'm also going to continue to do some research. Um, I really didn't see anything that allows you to set up a VPN uh, client. Um, so that's something that 
should come hopefully in a future uh, firmware release, but I didn't see anything that addresses that. Now you do have in this area, you know, this is the home page. I can go here and look at what my network connectivity is and do some speed tests. I can look at, you know, um, if my guest mode is on or enabled and also share uh, my IDs. I could go in here and pause the internet for a specific device. So uh, my LG G6 is what I use to set this up. And it says that I'm connected and it's, you know, then calculating usage. Now there's some additional controls here that I just wanted to highlight. Um, while you can pause the internet, you can create profiles, and these profiles um, could allow you to create um, unique experiences when it comes to, uh, you know, access. So let's look and see what you can do. So here's a um, a profile that I created test and now what I could do is I can add access times so uh, by doing this I can determine you know what times of the day or at the night would I allow um, this specific activity to take place and therefore control internet access now once you've created the uh, profile all you would do is um, choose the devices that you'd like to add so for example here I have my LG I would choose it to be part of that profile and now um, this LG is part of this specific uh, profile for test and has this usage period. So this is great especially if you have younger children, um, even college students that tend to be up all night playing games, you'd be able to control what kind of access they I have. Can go here and look at you know my uh, information about my IP, my gateway and my internet connection and um, I can also make some modifications, uh, restore or do some troubleshooting. So uh, all in all, you know, really capable uh, solution, simple to use interface. And I have to say that it's probably the easiest router that I've set up. Uh, easiest, number one, and so far it's the fastest. So let's do some testing. Now from a wireless or, or network perspective, I have, I think it's around 160, I think it's a 160, 170 uh, megabit download uh, capabilities for my internet provider. Uh, I do have my network segmented um, and I have quality of service also set up. So this specific segment that uh, this router has been connected to um, shouldn't go above you know, 90 megabits is, is I think was what I have. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a test to see um, how well this is performing. So here at the very bottom there's a little button I'm going to press and um, I'm not um, connected uh, close to the router at this point. Um, I have my mesh points um, at two different areas of my home. Um, we're talking about you know, close to 3,000 square feet um, in total. This is going to cover uh, 10,000 um, square feet, so it should have more than enough coverage to even go outside. And what we're seeing is from a testing perspective, you can see this right here, uh, the test rendered 88 0.5 megabit downloads and then from an upload perspective 20.5 87 millisecond ping now uh, compared to my other routers that I have around the house and the ones I've tested that's pretty good I'm not looking or I'm not seeing much um, signal loss and speed loss as things are connected so so far this is performing really well I'm gonna do one more test so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a speed test I'm gonna do a just a test to see uh, what the speed test application is saying. Still connected to the same uh, router, um, looking at what kind of performance I'm getting. And it's actually exceeding, uh, it's a little bit around, so you're looking around the 80 to 90 megabits, uh, 84, this is really good. Uh, and the upload speed looks like it's uh, pretty much the same. So all in all, a solid, solid performer. So this concludes my review of the Amplify mesh system. I have to say that after testing many, many uh, mesh systems, this is the easiest to install, the fastest performing, and the one that covers the most range um, or in square footage. Keep in mind that it's it does carry a hefty price. It's sub four hundred dollars. I think it was around three thirty, three fifty. You can find them on sale, but it covers exactly what it says it does and the performance is great. So if you have any comments or questions about this product, leave it in the comment area below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to share and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.